So that's one thought. The third thought, which is linked to this, is the whole issue of communication. Linked to this in my previous point. How much are we being able to articulate all these benefits or the positives of the paper and board industry? Is again, I think globally, it's not a matter of the Indian paper industry. I think globally, the, the pulp and paper industry or the forestry industry has been, if I may say, has done a poor job at it compared to the plastics and others. We have not communicated uh, the benefits of this as much. But I am very happy that uh, in the last three, four years or two, three years in particular, on the IPMA platform, much, much more has been done than it was ever done in the past. The film that you saw in the beginning, I think, is, is proof. But, uh, you know, uh, partly that is uh, preaching to the converted. We need to get this film and similar stuff like this out to a lot of people outside whose first thing when they look at you is, oh, you cut trees. Wait a minute. We are not cutting trees and cutting forests and therefore we are not bad people. We are actually doing good. So this communication part is, is again um, very vital and I think the industry needs to step up. The fourth point I want to, to make, and I don't want to make this extremely long, I have one or two more points. One is the issue, again, Mr. Ant has talked about, but I think I want to re-emphasize, is the whole issue of human resource development. We are finding very few, I'm talking now in India, we are finding very few people wanting to go into pulp and paper technology. Uh, even Saranpur had closed down that, their program, um, uh, Ali, and we have talked about it in, uh, in IPMA and other meetings and so on. But I think we have to understand why. If people or young engineers are getting opportunities to be paid better somewhere else, and I don't necessarily mean only software, I don't mean IT alone, but there are other manufacturing industries. The cement industry pays more than paper. Then we need to also recognize and step up to the game. We are not going to get people for the love of paper or pulp. We will get people if they are paid. And we will have to step that up. It, it, if it means how do I, how can I afford such people, then we have to look at our entire manning and reorganizing our, our manning systems. My personal belief is that we, I hate to say this on an open platform, but I think we, we employ far too many people. And there are technologies that exist today that can help us trim that. By reducing people in the factory doesn't mean we are reducing employment. If the factory can grow, if the mill can grow, there will be much larger indirect employment that is generated through transport, through suppliers, through vendors, through a whole ecosystem, through the forestry system itself, the plantation side. So I think we need to do that and we need to consciously take, uh, make an effort to say we will take people from engineering, people, uh, from engineering institute, even it may not be pulp and paper necessarily, but good chemical engineers or good mechanical engineers or even now other engineers who we are willing to pay and be fast-tracked. And I think if we have a mix of such people, then we will improve the attractiveness. So the human resource challenge, I think, is, is real. And, and if we are to go on to... Um, in, in fact, today, the, from, from what Mr. Enters talked about, the, the automation side and the, the digitalization, not from the, the you, you know, paper substitute, but how we can use it to our benefit. We need completely different kinds of people to man our mills today. They need to look at screens, they need to see how how, how um, you know, they are, the algorithms are happening, how, how the, uh, everything else is working, how data, how do we analyze data. That becomes a different kind of, so we need to employ those kinds of people. And the last point which I'd like to put, which is true in any industry, but I think the industry also needs to be <clears throat> more uh, conscious and disciplined in its capital allocation. It is a very, very, very capital intensive industry. And therefore, we need to look at returns on capital, how we will generate, not just generate tonnage and production. Because if we don't, we are not attracting capital or money <coughs> from our financiers in the markets. To grow, you need money. Either you are able to throw up enough surpluses or you need to get money, capital or debt. And that will come only if we have better return on capital. So we need to focus on that as an industry rather than just looking at tonnages or if I have, if I'm producing 100,000, how can I produce 200,000 
and so on and so forth. So maybe these are some disjointed thoughts, but I think we need to look at this. A uh, couple of other areas I think clearly, which we can touch on, is the whole issue of um, <clears throat> other materials and using the whole mill ecosystem to be much more integrated. So how much energy can we generate? Uh, the water thing also goes back into the closed loop. You also talked about the interesting thought of even if you are sort of sorting waste paper, how much of that can be incinerated, for example, the plastics and waste. Um, in, um, you know, for example, in the cement industry, we utilize a lot of energy from uh, what we call waste heat recovery. So process waste that happens in the paper industry as well. So all of those, the more we combine, the more competitiveness that we will get, rather than having discrete process. I don't need to tell uh, this to a room which has many technical brains, but again, we need to be conscious of some of these things. <coughs> Looking at, um, today the, <coughs> the pulp mill is really an energy producing source. If you look at modern pulp mills, they are energy surplus. So, how do we look at the whole thing in architecting the, in the whole, uh, of the way we look at our projects and the way we look at this is also, is also a very important thing. So, um, yeah, I, I think these are some of the things that I, I just thought which came to